are ready. Are you excited? I'll try I'm not to so bump my excited. head. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited. Oh, the, uh, yeah, cool gear, cool gear. Well, um, no, the space. Oh, yeah, we haven't done a gear space. review here. We have not. Guys, check it out. For those of you who know us, if you, know, you, know, you know, I've got a truck in the garage. I mean, it's not just. <laughs> If, abandoned out there. Anyway, yeah, yeah we're, if we're you're, excited. If you're new around here, we used to do a lot of filming in a carport or yeah. we'd have to drive yonder to do filming because... It's an upgrade. Because you know what? You got to do what you got to do <laughs> in life. So if, now we if, have a new yeah. space. And if you haven't if, if you haven't been with us before, yeah. I'm Michael. I'm Corey. And we have a, a worldwide community, adventure community called Overland Bound. They're yep. here to help you guys. Yep. Yeah. And all of those... All of our members, all those people, we talk to them all the time. They're letting us yep. know what gear they use. So we are here to talk about some of that gear. We're also gonna talk about some new products on the market. Yeah. Um, all of this stuff was was sent to us or yep. we, there's no They there's call no us on the telephone device. They They're like, hey guys. This, what? They email us. I just know oh, they, know they, email, calls. they email They call us. him when he's in the kitchen with his wired phone. I, um, <laughs> Okay. I beat up gear, they beat up gear, and yeah. that's why you care, because yeah. we are probably one of the hardest um, users of, of adventure gear, camp gear, yeah. you know, truck gear, and so yep. we'll tell you if it doesn't work. Okay, let's cut into it, because oh. otherwise they're gonna skip forward. And just to, and so just to say it again, none of this is sponsored, none of this is paid for, these are all our opinions and the opinions of our members, and that, that being said, let's start with the Ratchet Wrangler. Okay, okay. cool. Let's do it. So Ratchet Wrangler has done a thing where it's, you know, build a better mousetrap, yep. but I didn't know I needed this mousetrap. But now that I've used it, I never want to go back to how I used to do things. So the Ratchet Wrangler is a very simple pouch. Now he was skeptical at first, but that's okay. That's okay. Any fiddly thing, right? I yeah. like. But let's it, talk about the biggest fiddly thing people typically have in their <laughs> truck. <laughs> So Worst fiddly thing. you can spend a lot of time to try to keep these organized by doing the meticulous flippy do around your hand, trying to keep all you of the... You guys know what I'm talking about this yeah. way. You guys know what I'm talking about. And here's the best part is you take the hook and you thread it through the top here and then tuck in the hardware. You can come on. How can you, you not like this? Is how that. you this is yeah. how you pack your bag. Yeah. You just stuff it in, and the uh, the material is like a wetsuit material, so it has a lot of give. And then the other thing is, you guys know when you have a bunch of straps in the in your storage bin, you start they're nicely bundled. Open the door a couple of times, going down the trail, and it gets yep. all tangled. That Boom. doesn't. That Boom. doesn't tangle. So That's pretty cool. It. If you if you if organization is your jam, and you like things to be tidy, yeah. There you go. So yeah. right so right now with the first iteration of the product, it is for medium to small size ratchets. If you have the big gun ratchets like we do on top, they're working on a larger size. However, that shouldn't stop you from grabbing some now. New company, three for twenty bucks. Uh, we will have all of the websites and uh, pricing information in the description. I mean, how could... Yeah. It, and just we're, we, so uh, simple. It, you reminded me of a, a reason we also do these gear reviews. New companies, new gear. Yeah. We like to support Absolutely. them. Any small business, you guys, even if you have a creative idea, um, Send it get our out way. there and... Yeah. Send it I our mean, way. we just like to support small business, people trying to what, do a thing. So one, one yeah. little piece of feedback I'd have and maybe... I'll have to check in to see if they're already doing it. Yep. I'd love this to be like orange, like that safety orange. Oh yeah. Because it'll just blend into the truck. We know what yeah. we do when things blend into the truck, which is we drive away with them on the exterior of the somebody truck. Because somebody in 2010, oh yeah, but I'd never do that. Mm. I would never. never drive away with something attached. Our dog is visiting. This is the... <laughs> This is the Glue Tread 4x4 Sidewall Repair Kit. Hi, Blue. Our dog. The components of this can possibly save your trip. Yeah, heavy duty sidewall repair is the key that Corey just mentioned. And, you know, uh, uh, let's see, 
average citizen side sidewall repair you would not do, right? It's not recommended because it can be dangerous. It's very much considered a temporary repair. But out on the trail in the middle of no place, if you puncture your sidewall, you're not gonna sit there and go, oh, I'm not gonna repair the sidewall, I'll just stay out here. No, you need a sidewall repair kit, and uh, especially Mojave Desert, um, areas where there's lava rock anywhere, sidewall punctures happen frequently. So, what do you do? Ask us how we know. Yeah. <laughs> and you should cut to us changing a tire at 1 a.m., one exit from our house. We limped home tonight, but we're home <laughs> at 1.45. Okay, look at this tire. <laughs> We win. I got zip ties holding down my hood. <laughs> I got a new radiator. <laughs> it, was a, it was a tough one. So all of that drama could have been saved, saved had we had a kit like this. Yeah. The kit is, you're ready to go. You have four patches total. Too large, too small. Yeah, that's like three sixteenths of an inch. That is uh, heavy it's, duty. It's it's yep. pretty intense. You have your glue. You have the sandpaper to prepare the surface, and you have a, a pretty extensive how-to in case somebody else is jumping in and they've never done yep. it before. And then they have this. You know, you know this stuff, Michael, from your modeling. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I call it zip kicker. Uh, I build plastic models. Love love doing it. Um, uh, and there's a thing, it, you spray it on the glue and it just solidifies and cures the glue immediately in an instant. Yeah. So let's talk about trail stories with this. Our executive director, Kent. You got things under control, Kent? Always. Swears by this. Retired Cal Fire Chief, he's a real deal. Kent, thank you for everything you do. Yep, and even teaches other local Overland Bound members in his area yep. how to use this kit. And they did a trail repair on a trailer in the Mojave Desert. And then what we found out after the fact is that I believe the, the tire that's repaired is still on yeah, it's the a good, trailer. It's a good repair. And if you go online and read reviews, pretty much across the board, there are stories consistently of people who use it and then keep running it and there's Bad, no yeah. drama. It's like, I'm gonna stuff my tire full of grass and mud to get Sickings. home, or, or I'll use this. Okay, so <laughs> this, story. All right. so this, this kit is 60 bucks. However, that is bargain. Yeah, for it's the another one of those pieces of, uh, pieces of Absolutely. kit in your truck where it's like, how often will you use it? Eh, more often than, than you think. But when you need it, you gotta have it. All yeah. Right. All right, moving on to yep. the next. We have, we're gonna go into a fire section here. Yeah. <laughs> fire. <laughs> so the first one is the Off Grid Tools, a 33 piece fire starting kit. You guys? Now let's say this at the top. Let's, yeah. I'll yeah, say yeah. this at the top. This is a 33 piece kit. You probably have five to six of these things lying around your house. Cool. No problem. Awesome. Put them in a bag, buy a couple extras. What you're going to want to make sure you have is a dry fire starting solution and a wet fire starting solution when it's damp. Yeah, we, we have um, uh, uh, 857,000 videos on this channel. Go and check them out. I think we have an old, like, things you want in your fire starting kit video. Yeah, we'll but find it on this is like, link it. This is like one stop shopping right here. Lots of different That's ways correct. to start a fire. Yeah. Lots of different ways from magnifying glass to your waterproof matches to some tinder. You got your strike stick. You have your Instafire, steel wool. I yeah. mean, you have a lighter. Yes, you have a tea light. By the way, if you have something like a tea light around the house, put it in your kit. Uh, we have our, our twine. You have a tiny uh, handsaw. You have the wax. God, it, it literally, like, this is everything. This is everything, one and done. So the Off Grid Tools kit is $50. We have this on the Overland Gear Store on our website, I'll link to it. 
I can get a little discount on it. We'll put all the links. Um, most of the stuff, not in our store. Some of the things we do actually Correct. carry in the we'll, store. We'll, we'll link put links it. down below. So again, why I like this, buy once, cry once, throw it in your kit, throw it right next to your glue tread. And then you know that you have two very important uh, elements of, of traveling off-road and traveling on hard surfaces and into remote terrains, you're covered. Yeah, and the fire kit um, has a couple of things in there that are gonna last you a really, really, really long time. So yeah. not just a book of matches, but something you can start yeah. a fire with. Oh, magnesium, Forever. the magnesium caplets, those are, those are cool. Those work, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we, we've had our ratchet wrangler, okay. we've had our glue tread. We've had our off-grid tools, and now we're gonna move on to the next phase Which of one? our fire. Let's do the iCamper bag. Cool. Okay, let's, let's talk this. about this. iCamper has come out with a, an entire collection called the Recovery Collection. It is basic things you need, like a tote, like a firewood carrier. They even have an apron and a poncho, and it is made with leftover material from their rooftop tent production. So instead of scrapping these, uh, scrapping this material and throwing it out, they're making things you can use when you're exploring. And it's part of a larger trend of companies rethinking how they're approaching waste and leftover elements from production, and yeah. we are here for it. Yeah, I can't do enough of that. So we used this a couple weekends ago. You can vouch for it, at least for a yeah. weekend use. Yep. Uh, it is a pretty, it, well, it's made of rooftop tent material, so it's buff. Yeah, it's like a canvas material. And then what we really like, ooh, careful, careful, there's so much. Well, we definitely used it. <laughs> uh, the Velcro is great because you can, you can open this up to be a sling, and then you can seal it back and up if you're, if you're working, just getting... working on the truck or you just need oh, yeah. any like mm -hmm. semi-clean area out of the dirt <laughs> laid across anything it opens all the way up so that's you want to shake out whatever you got in it yeah. before using it as a semi-clean area okay. yeah but again i camper doing cool things it re, just reimagining the physical materials no. in yeah. and the and and how they're Sorry, being used and what is being wasted and and we'll have a link to the it's recovery. Durable. It is, it's durable, it's rooftop tent material. Like, it's, it's awesome. Fire carrier. All right, firewood carrier, right. you can find on their, their recovery collection, it's 60 bucks. I think that's a bargain. Cool. 60 bucks is a good deal. Okay, next is our new- You wanna do it? No. Oh, sorry. I thought you were cool. going under there, I'm like. Oh, for the, for the secret stash? Yeah. No, 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 I'm just putting on my gloves, this is, uh, <laughs> This is uh, used well. Okay, this is the Bare Bones Flatbrook stove. This we're gonna have on our website. So, that's it. That's it. And then, whoops, bring it over here. So this, this bad boy is $75. Here's what we like about it, and here's why I would spend $75 on it. You just saw the one-piece design. There's no bits and parts, and you're doing, you know, playing Jenga just to get. It's fast. I didn't. It's, I don't. It's yeah. really fast. It's really warm. Probably a great solution for two to th maybe three people if you're having the, you know, being around the campfire moment. Uh, it cranks heat, and the floor here. Why don't you yeah, talk about a, the floor and why it's so important to have? Well, the the the, um, the the base is raised off the ground, and the the shape itself is a chimney. So once you get it started, it really starts to crank. Yeah, yeah you and you were, you had you did not have a frustration point with it where you wanted to drop kick it. Oh, I thought I was going to drop kick it at the beginning. As soon as it came out of the bag, I was like, nope. not for me. But nope. it's yeah. very very simple. I was wrong. Yeah. So access on top. Access uh, down below so you can manipulate the fire from both ends. And then also it has this element to put a pot, a pan, any sort of open fire cooking you want. I have my, I have my, I have my manipulation. Yeah, there you, you have the gloves, you're official. Yeah, I'm official. Open fire, off the ground, easy setup, easy pack down. You can you know, pack out the ashes easily because they just all stay there. 
And I find this for 75 bucks a great, a great solution for someone just wanting to be able to have a safe fire outdoors. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, good stuff. So this one's on our, on our gear store. We carry a lot of bare bones. I love their stuff. Oh, and the bag is nice too. Make sure you get it. Oh, it's re yeah, it's, it's durable. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And the, uh, the manufacturer isn't trying to troll you by making the bag too small for the oh, gear gosh. that came in it. Totally. <laughs> Shout out to Gazelle for not doing that either. They're just <laughs> ample room. What do we got next? Okay, we got two bags. We're gonna wrap up this gear profile gear review with cool. two bags. I spent a chunk of time in my career working in the bag industry, so I have a, a a little bit of a passion for it, just because of my direct experience in the production and Break design it down for them. us. What do we got here? So when it comes to bags, let's go a, a, yep. two rules of thumb. The more items it has, more elements it has on it, the more features it has on it, and the cheaper it is, stay away. Every single seam, every single zip, every single pull, every single piece on the exterior has a cost. So if you have a bag that's really extra and it's 60 bucks. It's gonna fail. You're gonna get what you pay for. I will break it. Yeah. <laughs> the flip side of this is the more expensive a bag is and the less stuff on it, you're gonna wanna take a look because that bag better be premium. Right. So you're not just paying for the branding, you're not paying for the feel good clout. Yeah. You are actually paying for a piece of gear that will last can you I, possibly a, li a lifetime. Can I say just a thing? Yeah. Um, just real quick. Uh, so um, we like companies like Adventure Tool Company, um, smaller companies that have bags because they're not overly proud of their brand, meaning you're not paying a premium because it has a name brand on it. Yeah. You're, you're purchasing exactly what Corey said. You know, stripped down, a little bit more expensive, you know that quality is really, really good. Yeah. Yep. So let's start with Mystery Ranch. Is oh, this, this guy? Okay, yeah. sure. Let's yeah. start with this one. Yeah. Okay, great. So that this thing, you just know, as soon as you pick it up, yeah. I, you just know, yeah. So this is the high water duffel. It is waterproof. The, the, the material it's made of is 840D ballistic nylon. Ballistic nylon has an absolutely fascinating history. It was developed by DuPont mm -hmm. in World War II for airmen and the ballistic part, it is what it says. The uh, airmen would wear jackets with this to help prevent shrapnel, bullets, you name it. This was pre-Kevlar. So what makes the, the nylon, what makes this so uh, puncture resistant mm -hmm. is that the individual strands of nylon are twisted and then they're they're laid across each other and around each other. So this bag, you are most likely in, when you're using your truck, unless you take a knife directly to it and like hack at it, it's not gonna get punctured. The other and piece of the puzzle. It's, it's like, it, it feels like, it feels like rubber. Oh, and 840D yeah. is going to be less, uh, less, uh, I should say more resistant to dirt and dust. Uh -huh. So the surface is more cleanable than a lower grade denier. I, I would throw that on, on my roof rack. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. And then the welding on the seams is radio frequency. Radio frequency. It's RF welding. That is the welding you're gonna see in, in pool covers, in, in elements that are exposed to the environment consistently. So in, in a way, this bag is a little over-engineered, but I'm fine with that because I know whatever I'm gonna put in it, it's gonna stay dry. So if this is recovery gear, if this is uh, uh, my core clothing, I'm gonna put it in here. Also the zipper, we have a waterproof duffel from another company that's very large, and that zipper- Makes you angry. Really makes me angry. <laughs> Like, I don't want to have to take anabolic steroids to close a bag. <laughs> Which so, is trying, yeah. No. So this. It's not great. So this is the, there, um, the Mystery Ranch pole is much easier. Thanks for holding that down. Yep. And then it snaps into place. To show you that it's waterproof, this basically becomes a yeah. I mean, I would, yeah, like I said, I would it's, throw that on my roof rack. Yeah. And, and me, I, I don't need lots of different kinds of types of bag, I, I need one. So if you're gonna have one bag, 
pick something that is that is high quality. The yeah. only the only piece of the puzzle that I'd change, but it would increase the cost of the bag. By the way, this bag is, let me double check, this is a $329 bag so worth go. every penny. There you go, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the plastic clips and exterior hanging points. That's personal preference. That's just my preference. Uh, with this, you can put it into backpack, backpack mode if or you, you can needed remove. To, yeah, if you needed to, you could sling that over your shoulder and do yeah. some hiking. Um, yeah. But other than that, no complaints. This is a great bag from Mystery Ranch. Cool. Okay. The last bag we have here. Nice. I practiced I that think. for hours to make sure it wouldn't fall back down. Okay. I think this is one of my favorite duffels ever. So this is the medium duffel from uh, Bubba Goose, which is a Washington-based bag company, relatively new. Mm -hmm. This bag is so rad. I say rad specifically because the form factor is that 1980s gym bag that held everything, but it was typically made of canvas and might have had the Roadrunner like screen printed on the side and then it crumbled a bit because you always used it for your soccer gear. Random example. Random example. Yeah. Uh, this bag is so freaking so when you, fun. It, when you showed me that for the first time, I, I felt like uh, I felt like an astronaut. Yeah. I mean, you can tell That's this thing true. is is high tech. As soon as you touch, it's lightweight, but as soon as you touch it, you're you're like that is space material. Yeah. So yeah. this is military grade thousand denier from Dupont, and it has it's Kevlar and Cordura. You guys so, can thank our astronauts for this technology, yeah. by the way. Yes. Oh. So this is the next generation of heavy duty uh, military grade materials because it does have the Kevlar element to it. Yeah. So puncture resistant, a thousand percent. So this has minimal elements to it, which I like. And the price point is $120, okay. which for a made in the US yep. bag of this material with this kind of construction, I think is a steal. An absolute steal. Yeah. So I use this when you use your rolling technique for your clothes and your and your stuff, mm -hmm. which I think we have a video on. Uh, it can carry a lot. I just love a good classic, simple, clean duffel, and this is this is it. And again, 120 bucks. Heck yes. Good work, the yeah. Goose team, and we'll have a link to it. Okay, yeah. I think we've um, we've rambled great. enough. We have indeed. Um, hey, this video brought to you by. Oh, Overland Balance, brought to you by us. <laughs> like, we and, love being able to talk yeah. about companies, uh, and when we do when we do a sponsored thing, we'll tell you, and it'll be very yep. clear. But this is brought to you by us, and take a look at our app. Overland Bound One, you guys. Uh, it combines our worldwide community with off-grid mapping and navigation. We built it from the ground up with feedback from our community. Yeah. So it's more than just mapping software. Yeah, so I had a recent out. had yeah. a recent conversation with someone asking about it, and they were like, well, who do you use to develop it? I was like, us. <laughs> Well, so, no, what do you do? Yeah. do you, the thing? I'm yeah. like, no, no, the, yeah. the code, everything, it's, it's So Steve, us. good job. Steve Thank is you, our, Steve. our head of technology. And, and, uh, and yeah, so with, with and contributions Craig. from the community, Craig, thank you. Um, we just, built this it's app. Cool it's, app. It's, it's hey, 4.6 and increasing rating on both iOS yeah. and Android. So it's a good app for our community if you're in the serious off-grid mapping navigation community. Yeah. Adventure travel. There's our ad. Thanks, you guys. There's our ad at yeah. the end. Yeah, at the we end. We wait till the end. You guys, we do this because adventure is necessary. We want you guys to get out there and explore. Mm -hmm. Hope to see you on the trail sometime. Yeah. Hey, let's, uh, let's wrap this up and we don't have to pack up and drive 30 minutes back to our <laughs> carport. <laughs> so excited. All, All right, right, you guys. Yeah. Have a good uh, rest see of your week. Out there. Outfit. Thanks, okay. Okay, All right. so speaking of driving away with stuff, hold on, let me do that again. That's a mosquito. It's a mosquito. So let's move on to the next product.
Oh, hi. Did you think I was calling you, Blue? Nope, we're not going on a trip. I know. It's time to go, Blue Dog.